got quite an interesting project uh, on the go this morning. We're going to be going down to the Springbuck camp and we're reducing the numbers of the Springbuck. The reason behind that is multifold. For a start, there's way too many. The overgrazing in there is phenomenal. But remember, because Springbuck have got hooves, the trampling effect is also compacting the soil, it's destroying the vegetation. So in real terms, the biodiversity is taking a hammering down there. The other point is because of the, how can I put it, the gender discrepancies, there's way too many rams. And what we're finding is the rams, being rams, will fight each other. And we've had three that have uh, damaged each other. They've broken legs. We've had to euthanize them. So in real terms, just the social pressures are way too much. So we're reducing the number. And the way we do it is the most ethical way for this case is we'll get in a vet and he will dart them, individual ones, so we can actually pinpoint which spring bug we want to take out. They will then be tranquilized, put into a vehicle, they will be brought around again, and that's quite a quick process, and then they'll be going to their new home. The new home is up in Oturin, at a game farm there. So they'll be put into a much bigger area, into a whole farm in real terms. This morning, we're going to be taking out the old ewes. Now, a number of them are not pregnant. That means they're sterile, their breeding days are over. And basically, they would die within the next year or two anyway. <clears throat> we're going to leave younger ewes in there. The rams will be next, because this is a drawn out process, um, so as not to cause too much stress. Basically, um, we'll get rid of the old rams, keep a few young rams behind. I've also now got permission to release some in the bio corridor, but that's a subject for another video when we get around to doing that. The whole process is aimed at the antelope themselves, to make them have a happier life, an easier life, and you don't get all this infighting, inbreeding, and all that sort of stuff. So, yes, it is a process, but it is a very necessary process for the welfare of the animals. A number of homeowners have uh, voiced concerns about it, but we're doing the, it the best way we can. Um, there are other methods of capture, but in this case, the chemical immobilization is the best route to go. Okay, so thank you for your time. And as always, any questions, please feel free to ask. Thumbs up if you feel like it, always welcome.